The media, politicians, and institutional investors are getting increasingly more interested in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies right now. Historically, we have seen some massive rises in this asset class. Right now, you're looking at an overall chart called the stock to flow model for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies overall. As you can see, historically, this market is approaching another absolutely parabolic run as we're approaching a presidential election year, as the S&P 500 is about to break out to all-time highs potentially leading into that election year, and for the first time ever, a spot Bitcoin ETF is going to be announced. Today, guys, I want to talk to you guys about a breaking story and show you how banks, politicians, and the media are all tying together in what is about to be an epic bull run for the cryptocurrency asset class as a whole. Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I'm Crypto Kip, and today, guys, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the breaking stories in this market that I think you need to be aware of and where we're going right now and where the current market is sitting today. If you like the content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right in. So we have seen cryptocurrency come out of a bear market as of late, which was really triggered by one key event. Well, kind of two. First of all, traditionally, there are bear markets and bull cycles within the cryptocurrency class, usually revolving around the Bitcoin halving. But one thing that really took Bitcoin and crypto to an extra low in this bear cycle was the news about FTX. And you can see in this candle, this red candle in November of 2022, we had a further drop down leading to the bottom of the bear market, which was caused by one man and one company right there, Sam Bankman Freed, the convicted crypto king. Now, this man is facing trial or actually faced trial and has been sentenced to prison already. But during this trial, there were some charges dropped, some very, very questionable and concerning charges, charges that involve politicians. What you're looking at is a photo of some folks from the House committee in the United States government, that's actually Maxine Waters right there, Sam Bankman fried and Sam Bankman frieds father as well. There are conversations going on asking, you know, what kind of ties did Sam Bankman fried have to this politician, uh, these politicians? Uh, what kind of ties did Sam Bankman frieds father have to these politicians? And it has been proven that Sam Bankman fried and FTX have given $300,000. In fact, they've given over $100 million, it is a fact, Two politicians, the United States government. That is a mix between House uh, ho Congress me members of the House of Congress and also members of the Senate. This is a very, very interesting thing that happened, guys. And this is part of the reason <clears throat> that we likely saw this market take a tumble because really this conversation that went on about Sam Bankman Freed and donate illegal campaign finance uh, donations to politicians was a very, very sketchy thing. Now, What's crazy, guys, is Sam Bigman fried just yesterday, it was announced that he will not face a second trial. But what's very interesting is though a lot of the media is reporting that he's not facing a second trial, none of them wrote the true headline of what this story is actually about. The headline should really read, Sam Bankman fried will not be tried for illicit campaign finance charges because U.S. politicians don't want to be exposed for getting legal bribes essentially from these crypto exchanges, specifically the most defunct crypto exchange that took customer funds and donated it to politicians' campaigns. So in other words, this story should read, U.S. government <clears throat> sweeps illegal campaign donation trial under the rug and moves on because they don't want to look bad. That's what the whole headline should read here. Now, it's very, very interesting to see how politicians were willing to accept bribes and then come out and slander crypto. We've seen some some politicians come out and say that they're anti-crypto. And we've also seen folks like Jamie Dimon come out and lash out against crypto, quote, saying, if I was the government, I'd close it down. But here's the crazy part, guys. BlackRock Valkyrie just named authorized participants, and those participants include... JP Morgan for the upcoming spot Bitcoin ETF. So in other words, <clears throat> you've got politicians that are saying, oh, cryptocurrency is full of corruption and fraud. And for example, Senator Elizabeth Warren comes out and says it's filled with corruption and fraud. Has Senator Elizabeth Warren said a single thing about Sam Bengman-Fried's 
campaign finance donations? The answer is no, guys. She's not acknowledging it at all. The question I have is, did she get any of this money? Did Gary Gensler get any of this money from FTX and Sam Bankman-Fried? We're never really going to know exactly which politicians receive that money because at the end of the day, we see it here, guys. The charges are dropped, okay? These charges are dropped. The second trial is not going to take place. The government does not want to put this case on trial and air out their dirty laundry in, in front of the entire international media. Just like Jamie Dimon is also being shady to you, saying if he's the government, he'd shut it down. In the same moment, he is investing in this Bitcoin spot ETF himself. You have to read between the lines in this asset class, guys. I'll tell you this. <clears throat> we are getting ready for a crypto bull market. Bitcoin is the number one cryptocurrency of all time, $834 billion market cap. People are expecting a 10 to $20 trillion market cap for this asset class in the next bull cycle. So despite some of the things going on and some of the illicit activity that's happening behind the scenes, there is definitely a message to take away from all of this. Cryptocurrency is a very big player. There's a lot of money involved. You see banks lying about it and then buying the asset behind closed doors. You see BlackRock about to launch a spot Bitcoin ETF in January 2024. I believe that Bitcoin one day will be well above $100,000, possibly even in the year 2024. In fact, we believe here on this channel that there's going to be a lot of ways to make a lot of money in this crypto market leading into the new year. Today is the very last day of 2023. We're moving into a brand new year with a lot of exciting things on the horizon. It's good that we got some of the negative things out of the way. Some of these stories about Sam Bankman fried some of the bad actors like Do Kwan, like CZ, who is now seeing some prison time, the previous CEO of Binance soon. Uh, this is a very, very interesting time. We are turning the page in the Wild West that is crypto and mainstream adoption is coming. As you can clearly see, the media is getting more interested in it. Politicians are getting more interested in it. A presidential election is coming. I believe that Bitcoin and crypto are going to be a main part of this conversation. You already see it being talked about more. And as this spot Bitcoin ETF is launched, institutional investors will be bringing billions, if not trillions of dollars into this asset class. And I think the people that have been researching this and investing in cryptocurrency for the long term and doing the research are going to make some good gains in this cycle, despite some of the craziness that goes on in this market, because it is a little bit crazy sometimes. Guys, that's my update for you today. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of video on some of the breaking news that's happening in the space. Kind of a wrap up video for 2023, and we are moving into a new year. Follow us at the Crypto Report for more crypto content. We're going to talk about top projects out there, low cap gems, mid cap, high cap gems, different chains, different ecosystems to follow. Try to educate everybody, whether you're intermediate, beginner, or advanced in this space. You are welcome on this channel, guys. That's all I got on this one. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel for more crypto content. And as always, folks, you got to remember the DCA, HODL. And of course, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. I got two videos for you right here if you want to check them out. Peace.